Hello everyone. Let's welcome again into the interview series. So today in this session, we will try to cover one of the good company that is in Bangalore location. So that is basically working into the automation stuff with the help of .NET and the Java language. And that is very good into the market also. So I hope some of the people are definitely heard about this company. So let's start the session. So today I'm talking about the SLK group so that is a very leading company into the india and that is a london based organization so here i will try to cover some of the important concept what they ask me about uh, during the interview so agenda wise like i will try to cover the c sharp mvc dot net core sql and final technical round uh, there is a second and the third round i combine that one because i need to make this uh, video short and crispy Ops and C sharp side, they asked me like convert dot to string versus uh, to string. So convert dot to string is basically handle the null uh, exception, but uh, to string is uh, throw the exception. The other one is how to deploy the normal application without Azure because they are, uh, I think, working onto the Azure node, but they want the uh, like before Azure how we are deploying the things onto the IS server. So you need to explain the things. Other one is the difference between abstract and interface and when to use like abstract. We know that whenever we want to provide the common functionality or the common method on to the all the concrete class so that no need to write that method again again. So in that case, we are going to use the abstract and interface like uh, to give the uh, like implementation forceful implementation into the concrete class who are going to inherit that interface. So there we can use that stuff. What is a runtime polymorphism? Why it is a runtime? So runtime, we know that the uh, whenever we are using the virtual and override keyword, so that is a runtime. And why we are telling or calling this one is a runtime because at the runtime and while creating the object, we can decide like which method we are going to use, base class or the drive class. So that's why it is calling the runtime. The other one is the where and dynamic. So where is basically giving the behavior onto the compile time and dynamic is basically giving the behavior on runtime. Namespace and assembly. So namespace, we know that it is a collection of the classes, properties and all. And assembly is basically the public unit. Uh, there uh, we have the versioning information. So and uh, this stuff you can mention there. Next one is the MVC. So MVC side, uh, how routing works. So there you need to explain the how the routing works. So you can put the lame and dumb. Don't put the any of the complicated things. So because it is uh, good also because it is easy to understand like how the when the client is requested and it is going to the server and the server we have the routing table or routing dictionary there we have the controller along with the their controller action. So how this one is uh, hitting and get the response back. Another one is the action filter and the execution step. So much important question because most of the people are uh, now asking this type of question like action filter. Like we know that uh, whenever any of the action is performed, so there is a two method on executing or ag on executed. So in that uh, in between of that main call, we can handle the things so we can filter the things also based on our requirement. The next one is like how we can uh, create this one so we have the i action filter we can <clears throat> use that one to implement uh, along with the uh, filter attribute to make any of the custom uh, filter and uh, there's a inbuilt action filter is the output cache so that is uh, used for the caching any of the things for the particular time being the next one is the how to handle the di so di like in dotnet core we know that uh, everything are automatically provided by uh, in dotnet but uh, in mvc we need to write the explicitly code to use the microsoft dll so you can mention that one and uh, di container things you can mention here like uh, that will help the next one is the action result and its return type we know that action result have more than 10 type of return time so you can mention at least four or five so it will have like a view partial view any of the json text and all the next one is the difference between controller and the api controller so you can mention the single liner like in the controller you can uh, return the view as well as the any of the plain text in the form of xml or the json but api controller is always written any of the uh, particular format type of 
string or the data it not return the any type of the view the next one is a if anyone want to return the own type of or own standard type of data from the function so how uh, he or she can implement so for that one we have the one custom uh, interface that is a media formatter so that if we implement so that we can use and we can create our own things the next one is the dotnet core so in the dotnet core basically asking about the startup.cs file so it is uh, there you need to explain each and everything like uh, there's a two method configure and the configuration service and uh, apart from that there's a how to add the session because in the configure we have the use uh, session and in the configure service we need to add the session so these two things you need to do and everything will be set up automatically sql side like indexing and type like cluster index known cluster index you need to explain and uh, what is the benefit there you can put that thing also Another one is the function and the store proc. So, function you know that uh, function can't be used the try catch and uh, you can't use the store proc inside the function and you can return only the single value from the function. But store proc is totally different from this one. Like uh, in the store proc, you can use the try catch, you can use the function, and uh, uh, you can uh, return uh, any any how any uh, type of tables. The other one is a trigger trigger you can mention like uh, <clears throat> any of the serious type of uh, or any of the critical type of uh, transaction we are performing in that case we are using the trigger and uh, they, there you need to explain the two type of virtual table or the magic table like deleted or uh, insert uh, inserted the final round is basically a combination of the both the second or third round so uh, so there they start asking like what will be the end point of the api like uh, basically the card one so he mentioned like you you perform any of the card operations so how the url will behave like uh, slash employee will give the uh, all the employee slash employee question mark uh, or uh, employee id equal to employee so that will give the particular id and similarly delete or update so delete you can use uh, or the update type you can use the any of the post call custom builder is basically used for the uh, to uh, whenever any of the property which we are sending in the form of the json and how it will be hand it will be map into that model so for that one i already created the very easy video so it will very help you to understand this custom binding other one is the how to manage the session at uh, mvc so you can uh, uh, mention like uh, there is a different way like uh, like main is the session itself application layer and uh, temp view back view data local storage and all you can mention anyone custom filter you can mention the custom filter like authentication authorization or any of the other filter exception filter you can mention and explain at least one how to implement and custom exception filter so for this one we have the i exception filter so you can uh, uh, implement into any of the uh, concrete class and after that that name whatever concrete class you given you need to decorate with that one other one is a how to make 1000 button color green so uh, basically he want to uh, check my javascript knowledge or jquery knowledge so for this one you can do is with the tag name uh, like button and after that uh, font uh, or the color equal to or colon equal to green you can mention this one so now he mentioned like the he have the two type like cancel or the save button so save button should be the one color and the cancel button should be the different one so you can use that uh, input type text and uh, based on that you can apply the things through the css only other one is a jquery selector like uh, there you can mention uh, any of the tag class wise or id wise transaction scope like any of the c sharp side also we are uh, getting this transaction how if any any things are failure at the db level so we can handle at the c sharp level dry principle for this one i will definitely going to create separate video because uh, that is very good and uh, what are the practical scenario abstract factory and the factory pattern so i never use the abstract factory but i know the concept so i explain that one and the factory pattern i use into the project so i explain the things how to send the data one control to another and second to the third so temp uh, data we can we can use there and you need to explain the keep and peak both the method inside that one so thank you so much thank you for supporting uh, 
the video so i hope you like the session we'll meet again into another video thank you so much bye